Hi, hello. Today I have a review video on the Barry M All Night Long Medium Coverage Foundation and also the Matching Concealer. This is part of my 12 Days of Foundation, so if you are new here, make sure to subscribe to my channel and like this video if you enjoyed it. I will have the playlist of all 12 videos of the foundation reviews in the eye up there. Obviously some of them might not be up yet and some of them will be up by now. Obviously I'm going to be reviewing this today. I haven't used it at all. It claims to be medium coverage. The smooth creamy formula is easy to blend and feels lightweight on the skin paraben free and with vitamin E to moisturize. The stick can also be used to contour or highlight. So that's the foundation claims. The concealer just says full coverage concealer. Oh, and in the foundation I got the shade 2 Cashew and then in the concealer I got 1 Milk. It took me ages to find this shade of concealer because in the UK people just tend to open the product up and then the shades are gone. They just don't look at the tester, which is already open. For some reason they go and open a new one, but anyway, um, I got it finally. Like in all my foundation review videos, I'm gonna be using the Rimmel Lasting Finish 8 Hour Wear Makeup Primer. It just looks like this. It's a very nice moisturizing primer. So it's great for priming my face, keeping it moisturized and it's not going to change the outcome of the foundation too much as I am reviewing it. Okay, so to test this foundation out and concealer, I'm gonna be using one side with a brush and one side with a sponge. So first, it comes with eight grams and it says it's vegan. I really like the packaging. It's a matte, nice matte feeling packaging with the copper outlining so love that I'll show you how much product is actually in here there's actually quite a decent amount so that's what we're working with today I do love a good stick foundation they can be quite dewy so if you do have oily skin then I'd be wary of these stick foundations but we'll see what it's like I do have a blemish on my cheek I haven't had a spot in like forever seems quite thick doesn't smell too great either gotta admit okay so I've applied how much I would apply my revolution fast base stick I should have done once I first but what I've got I'm using the morphe y6 to buff this out yeah, it is a really thick consistency. The Fast Base stick from Revolution is actually really creamy and it moves quite well, which is great. This is, it needs a little bit more work. So you're tugging at your skin a little bit more. I mean it's blending out nicely it isn't streaky at all when using a brush because some foundations can leave your skin looking really streaky okay so that blended out quite well like it said on the packaging it is medium coverage I would say yes it is medium coverage even though I put quite a lot on you can still see my freckles and a little bit of redness on my cheeks but it hasn't clung to any dry patches which is great and it doesn't look cakey so win-win at the moment so next I'm going to blend it out with a sponge a wet sponge yeah it's definitely not full coverage because it hasn't covered up my blemish on my cheek It's definitely got a dewy finish to it. It's 
definitely not matte but I am liking a nice dewy finish at the moment to my foundation so that's looking great at the moment okay so next I'm going to use the concealer would have helped if I took this out of the packaging okay so it just looks like this again with the matte black lid and then just clear like plastic for the concealer it feels quite small it has five mils okay so I'm just going to put this it says full coverage on it so we'll see about that I love the shade it's nice and bright and light we'll see if it oxidizes at all not many drugstore concealers are this light and brightening under the eyes so that is great to see the concealer so bright okay so I'm just going to blend this concealer out with a sponge just because that's what I normally do concealer dries down very quickly it's kind of hard to blend out because it has dried down very quick but we can work with it very brightening under the eyes which I love I'm going to quickly conceal my lids because I am doing a review on my eyeshadow which I will link in the eye and the description box so you can see what I used Okay, I look like a ghost. Okay, so that concealer blended out nicely into the foundation. It did take a little bit of work because um, it did dry down quite quick, but eventually it looked fine. Okay, so to set the whole face, I'm gonna use the Rimmel Match Perfection Loose Powder. Okay, so I'm going to go finish the rest of my face, including my eyes and everything, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've had my makeup on for a good while now, probably about an hour, and the lighting's changed dramatically, I know, because I've been doing this eye look. If you want to see it, I'll link up here. But anyway, um, the foundation is actually looking really nice. It's not clung to any dry patches, it hasn't gone patchy, it doesn't look cakey, my forehead looks good. It has gone in my lines a little bit, but not as dramatic as some foundations, like proper full coverage foundations would but other than that it looks really nice it blended really nice with the bronzer blush highlight and all that jazz yeah looks really nice if you want to know what's on my face and what I didn't put in this video then everything will be listed in the description box below so make sure to check that out Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you aren't already and like this video if you did enjoy. Make sure to check out my 12 Days of Foundation playlist, I'll link it up here and in the description box below. Make sure you've got that notification bell turned on so you know every time I upload and it will help you know. So that's it for me today, I love you to the moon and back and I'll see you in my next one.